I just got something I said I was not going to buy because I have a Gear VR, but the good thing is I can compare the two. Uh, so, got an Oculus Go, going to unbox it. Um, made an excuse for, for buying it because I'm a techaholic. And I'm now going to unbox it and then I'm going to compare it to the Gear VR um, after some use. Actually, I can bring the Gear VR over here and do a quick comparison because I have it right here. Mine has uh, some, they don't really come with these earphones I have, but mine has some earphones I added, so that's not part of it. Okay. So, got the plastic off. Um, now, is there any plastic? Uh, nope, it just comes up. Um... They didn't actually put any packaging in the box. They just put a big box. It was just moving around, so I hope it's okay. Probably is, but you know the the way they deliver things sometimes. Um, so here is the headset, and here is the controller. And I have to take the plastic off. Have to. Okay. So this is the controller. Feels like the, the original Gear VR controller. Which I should bring over here. Let's, let's compare these two. <laughs> so here's the Gear VR controller. It's a round touchpad up here. Ergonomic. One little thing has a volume rocker, which I don't know that this has. Nope, no volume rocker. There is a head. There is a volume rocker on top of the headset, but it's very convenient when you have it on the controller, and that is not present. Present, not present present here so it's fairly comfortable i don't have an issue with it never did and this is the i would say this is more comfortable though this is uh bigger has a better um i don't really like the touchpad as much touchpad presses down you have the back and home button like on the gear vr and this has a this thing slides off and you put batteries in it and there's also a uh a lanyard to put in there so this is the these are the two controls I would say out of the two I think this is better but I wouldn't say that like it's terror this is terrible this is fairly good but it you know the size of this is better feels better in the hand it doesn't look as nice but yeah it, it feels better actually it looks like a half of a PlayStation controller anyways or a horn from the PlayStation controller or whatever so then, I, I, I always like to take the big part out first, but today I'm just going to do it different. Do it the same as everybody else and take out the bullshit. And here's a power brick. I don't have enough of these. And the spacer for the glasses that I don't have. Um, I, a lot of people have done glasses tests with this, but I, may, I have like other types of glasses that I could use. Here's the battery, or bat is it batteries or battery? Here's the lanyard. Um, yeah, oh boy, a lanyard for the controller, a shitty Mitsubishi battery. I guess that's better than some of the things people include. At least I recognize the brand. And then it shows you some instructions and whatever, you know, what else is uh, included inside the box. Oh, and something I wanted to see. Because this actually does require that you have a phone to set up. And I want to see if it says anywhere on this box, does it say anything about needing a phone? Because that was kind of a big thing, is that you don't need a phone. Oh, it does say it, actually. It says it right down here, but who the fuck is going to see that? It's just that, like, I would imagine somebody who actually doesn't have a phone would buy this. And they're probably not going to read these little letters. And they're going to pick it up. And they're going to find out they need an iPhone or an Android phone. And you could, they could have, like, for all I know, they could have a Windows phone. So, yes, it does, for some oddball reason, require that you have a phone. So, I don't know why you can't just set it up inside in VR. But, whatever. Not the end of the world, but... That's that. So here's the headset. Anything else in here is this? Or just, yeah, that's whatever. So here's the headset. A lot of people have seen it. 
Try to get better lighting on the headset. <laughs> but yeah, I have to take the plastic off the front. So a lot of unboxings where people didn't take that off and I was worried that it was actually all glossy like that on the front and like matte around the sides, but it's not. <laughs> It's uh, it's it's what I expected, and I'm I want to show it on camera, and the front has like a, it almost looks like a Metallica, Metallica really Slayer, Megadeth, no it looks like a metallic finish, and it says Oculus on it, and then it feels metallic but I'm not sure if it is, and this side is plastic, it has a very similar look. Grab your phone. Grab your phone and get started. Anyways, uh, it has a very similar design to the um, da Google Daydream, which I also have and will compare. Um, except it has this um, thing here, the proximity, uh, not, yeah, proximity sensor and plastic. And I have an insane neighbor upstairs who yells a lot, and I hope it doesn't get picked up by the camera because it's disturbing. Anyways, always got to love this crazy neighbor. Um, and there it is. There's the lenses. Uh, let me see about the Gear VR comparison here because I did say I was going to do some of that. And I'll just talk over my neighbor. Uh, yeah, so the lenses seem bigger. Um, I heard that the field of view was basically the same as the Gear VR. I'm having trouble believing that, seeing as it does have Fresnel lenses, and the, um, the lenses look bigger. Um, and that's that. Let's see. I have, uh, the lenses are bigger. Let me just keep continuing to talk over my nut neighbor. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, my lenses are, the lenses are bigger. So I would, it looks like the, uh, the, the, um, field of view would be better. Um, the difference between here, people talk about seeing more no, uh, light in the nose area. Uh, okay, my, my neighbor shut up now. Um, the light in the nose area, I would imagine, would be because of the way they did the face padding and you see the this has a piece of foam that actually goes up into the nose area and blocks out light whereas the the uh, bi -bi -bi, the oculus go does not have that sorry that that screaming threw me off and now i'm like uh, bi -bi -bi. i'm all screwed up now and of course this has um uh, head, uh, oh, I gotta take the plastic off of this, it's killing me. Um, it has speakers on the sides of the thing, and it basically sends audio back down the strap. And apparently sounds a lot like you have headphones on, except you don't have headphones making you sweat. Um, so that's that, there's a mic on the bottom, I believe, this is the mic. Um, there's the micro USB port as well as a headphone jack if you want to use actual headphones and not the built-in audio. I'm lazy. I'll probably use the built-in audio unless I'm listening to music content. So I was going to say something and then I cut myself off somehow and I forgot what it was. There was something I thought was very important to mention and I, I didn't say it. There was... Um, there's no camera on here, by the way, so on the Gear VR, your phone normally has a camera, or sometimes even two, on the back, and you can use this on the Gear VR to, um, my phone's going to cut off soon, so I have to keep that in mind, but you can use this on the Gear VR to look out into your surroundings, so if you're worried about, like, a serial killer coming in, stabbing you to death, you know, oh, my neighbor started up again. Anyways, I'll just have to go kill her. No. <laughs> um, so, you... Uh, uh, she's throwing me off. Uh, so, yeah, you have a camera. You can look out. You're worried about uh, something's happening. You can see into the room. Or do whatever you need to do with that camera. Whereas this does not have a camera. And there's something else uh, uh, that I'm trying to remember here. That... Um, let me just continue to talk again. 
over my nutty, insane neighbor. Um, there's not much. I don't know. There's... I could have sworn there was something else that the Gear VR had. I think also Minecraft doesn't work on, um, on this, whereas it does on the Gear VR. If you go on there, it's apparently incompatible. So it's not exactly 100% 100, 100 the same. Also, you're using a Samsung phone, which ha normally has a beautiful OLED display, and you're, then you have this, which is an LCD display. I heard the color's a little washed out. And there's also, they cut off the sides of the screen, kind of. So you see the edges of the screen, almost like that. And that's kind of weird, because it's a dedicated VR device. You would think that they would optimize it in a way that that wouldn't be the case. But they didn't do that, so I don't know. That, that was something that was going to bother me. Um, but the cool thing is you can just put it the heck on and go <laughs> like the oculus going you can throw it in the bag and whatever else we put it down instead of waving it around and uh yeah there was something else i was i wanted to talk about that um that was about it i think i'm going to do another video where i do a more in-depth comparison between not only the gear vr but the google daydream and other stuff and I guess I can get back to some of the stuff that I wanted to point out that I didn't think of. So, yeah. So there are some limits to this. Like, I believe, I don't know how you sideload apps. I think somebody tried and they couldn't do it, but I don't know. Maybe they'll, because it's running Android, You can. I'm sure you'll be able to root it eventually, hopefully. And do whatever else you need to do. <laughs> and you should be able to hopefully sideload apps possibly through ADB or something like that. Um, but it has a 2.5 hour charging time, which, I mean, it's it runs for 2.5 hours, so it will die after that. And it takes a while to charge, apparently. So I don't know if you use a different charger, if it will charge faster, but it's like 2.5 hours to charge. I mean... It runs and it will last 2.5 hours. And for me, I don't normally use that for use VR for that long because it is you end up starting to sweat and stuff. So I watch short videos and things like that. And there's no YouTube app, but you can use the browser. Same with the Gear VR. Everything is normally the same with the Gear VR, except for from what I'm hearing, it seems like the Gear VR is actually better, with the exception of the convenience of just having an all-in-one device. Like, this is set up more for convenience, whereas the Gear VR is a better experience with display and, and things like that, and having Android as open as it can be. Um, so, yeah. I think that's, that's what I'm going to end at, and I will just get back to other videos. I'll do other videos. Um, so if, any, if I left anything out, I'll just do it in a different video. So thank you for watching.